All right, hello everyone, and welcome to Valorant versus UMass Boston in this uh, Week Eight NECC matchup. The uh, UMass Beacons currently 0-7 on the season. Looks like this actually just got updated too. Uh, we are sitting at 2 and 5 on the uh, season, looking to lock in that playoff spot with a win tonight. If we lose, then we'll have to hope that Ruxers loses their next match. But we're going to get right into it here. As it's going to be uh, Bivils facing down five members. Does get taken down by Sirius George. Johnny trades one back before getting fragged himself, and it's a 2v4. Make it a 1v4 as Psycho takes out Mojo. Let's see if Meech can pull off something incredible. Good start. Seen by Bear as he hops up over the boxes there. And peaked by two players at once, and that's going to do it for round one. UMass Boston does take that one. Uh, it's going to be Meech, Johnny, Solo God, Bivils, and Mojo for the Eagles. Psycho, Bear, Jules, Sirius George, and Gurren Puimui for the Beacons. Starting on Pearl here. Eagles starting on Defense. UMass, of course, with the advantage after winning pistol round. Going to be rushing uh, aggressively onto site. Solo with the marshal, though. And Sirius George finds a pick on Johnny to start things off. Spike planted. Nice shots by Bivils. Cannot get another, though. Wow, good shot by Solo there. Mojo going to be able to pick up a Spectre for himself now. Eagle's got to push in soon, though. Bomb is ticking. Solo does not get unblinded in time, and now Meech in a 1v3 with time ticking away. Going to maybe try to get one more pick, but cannot do it. Just trying to keep them around for the bomb to explode. Does not find anyone else. And it's 2 nothing. He was going to have some money now to purchase some equipment this round. First time casting in a while. Feels good getting oh, back behind the desk. This is a very important match, all things considered. Uh, I believe we do play Rutgers next week. Yeah, we do, so... Either way, our fate will be in our hands here. But if we win tonight, then it doesn't matter what happens next week. Solo, here's some footsteps. You must playing a 2-3 here. With the spike out, be long. Johnny gets an initial pick there. Solo still pinning Psycho down in the corner. Here. Here. Johnny and Solo finally do take him down. But uh Sirius George is gonna take down Meech as the plan was to rotate over to B. Mojo on the flank here. Let's see if he can make some noise. Down. 
Ojo does find one on the flank. Serious George gets another. Bivils does finally silence him. And Sala with the last one. The Eagle is going to take that round. Off the back of some good pl team play there and a nice retake. And it's going to be 2-1. See what Johnny ends up purchasing here. It looks like he's the only one that's in kind of a tough spot. The only player who's died three times. Oh no, Meech has died three times. Alright, he's gonna have a Phantom in light armor, so. Here. We'll be good. Serious George just with a Spectre in light armor, so. You must add a slight disadvantage this round. Garen. With their first kill of the map. Ojo pushing up through the smoke. Bivils gets taken down. Ooh, Johnny with a nice little molly there is going to find one kill. Make this a 4v3. Spike planted. See if the Eagles can muster a retake here. All of UMass over in this uh, a long area. Eagles need to push in soon and start making them use some of these uh, some of these resources. Ooh. The team ace for UMass. Well played all around from them. Every player with one kill on the round. And it's going to be 3-1 UMB. With uh, Johnny and Jules. Both off to great starts for their respective teams. Post is going to be on a bit of a save round here. Yep. Bivil's selling that. Got your trail. Ooh. Solo dashing out of that one. Did almost pick up a kill for himself. Ooh, just barely off on that estimate there. Through the wall. Bear finds one. on the rotation. Last player standing. Now the Eagles last over this round in a 4v1. Did not find the kills and uh, it's going to be 4-1 UMass after 5. See if the Eagles can bounce Make back here. Uh, they will have some buys now. This is when Post really needs to start turning things around. Jeez, a bunch of zoomers tonight. I won't lose you all again. Suppress it. Three suppressed. No one knocks away. KO ult getting popped. We do see multiple members back there. Bear finds the pick on Solo. That's huge. Johnny does trade one back. Flash. It's another. But uh, it's a 2v3 now. Still winnable. Astral Divide coming down. It's going to be Bivils and Meech trying to flank from opposite sides now. Meech does find one. Fake it, two. Bivils with another. And that's going to do it. That is the round. Great team play there from Meech and Bivils coming in from two different angles. 
And they will find the defuse. My ult is ready. Push our button. Save the day. Easy. Mm, serious George picking up an op for himself this round. Also has Showstopper available, so we'll see if he uh, makes any noise with that one. Solo going to pop the knives this round. No targets just yet. Jules finds one. Mojo trades him back. And both jets are down. And uh, it's going to be Johnny on the flank here. He could catch someone. He does. Good lurk pick there. And uh, now in the 4v3, UMass going to be rotating back over to B site. Or maybe hanging around in spawn. Not sure what they're doing right now. Oh, they were ready for Johnny there. 3v3 now as they're going to start running to B site. Mojo going to try and get in position for this one. Oh, Showstopper coming out. Mojo waiting in the smoke. No way this works. He gets one. Oh! <laughs> Did get one there. The Vils popping the ultimate out onto the point. Just look away from the blind and he gets both of them back there. Excellent job there from Bivils. Looking away from the blind. Perfect time using that utility from Fade to perfection. And the Eagles close the gap. Four to three now. On map one. Bivol's impressive so far on Pearl. Let's see if he can keep up the momentum. Generally shares time, shares playtime with our other, one of our other players, Lifted Keynote, who you've probably seen in some of our past matches. But Bivol's got the call to start this match tonight. And uh, we'll see if uh, he plays well enough for Meech to, to start him again. The following map as Solo on the prowl. Does tag Jules down to half. While avoiding any damage himself, UMB playing very spread out this time. Mojo pops the Viper Pit, but nobody wants to walk into it. There's more damage going down, but no frags just yet. Mojo is just getting weird in this Viper Pit. Finally start to walk up. Oh, the grenade. Psycho finds one. This is going to be a good Cypher ult. Bivils does find one, and it's going to be a 3v4 when all is said and done. Wait a moment. Each in his cage. Nice! With the tripwire, does find one. Oh, they didn't see each other! Ten seconds to go. They will get the plant down. Mojo in a 1v3. Can he clutch it out? Doesn't look like... UMass knows which angle Mojo's coming from. This could be to his advantage. Oh, now they might know. Walking through his poison. Gets one. A 
Oh my gosh, they're doing ring around the rosy. Yeah, he had to start defusing there. And uh, UMS did a good job of playing for time there. Five to three now as UMass picks up another one. Three players with eight frags on UMass. All all their players having good games so far. You'd love to see it. And the team is not carried by one or two individually really strong players. Same thing on post. I'm looking for Solo to get warmed up here. He's been uncharacteristically quiet so far on Pearl. Eagles are on a save round as well, so might might have to wait an additional round here. Solo being very aggressive with this Sheriff. Jules and Psycho find two kills for UMass, and uh, Eagles trying to get weird here, but they line up for Gurn, and now Meech in a 1v5 with just a Sheriff. Can he make some magic happen? Oh! What a shot! Finds Jules and prevents the Flawless at the very least. But they will be getting the plant down on B, and uh, Meech is going to have to rotate all the way over there. Spike planted. And now he knows they're on B. This is going to be a long trek. <laughs> <laughs> right there. And Psycho finds the last one there for UMass. And it's going to be 6-3 after they take care of business on that advantage round. So, 6-3, Post is going to have uh, some weapons this time. Just a Spectre for Bivels. Everyone else with full loadouts. Johnny with only light armor. Um, interestingly enough, Psycho is going to hold on to... That Ares. You mass playing very uh, patient this time. Feels about to find more targets, but so is Solo, perhaps. Ooh, Solo does get the better of the opposing jet and is now on the rotation over. Cannot get the flick on Bear. And it's a 4v4 now. I know exactly where you are. And Cypher going to reveal all the members of the Eagles. Seconds left. I've got your trail. Good cam location for Meech here. We'll be able to see everyone coming up onto the site. Nice job with the cage. Finding one kill. Camera taken out. Ooh, they don't have time to plan, and that's going to do it. Mojo cleaning up at the end of the round with the help of Meech and the Eagles. Nice job there. Securing that round. It's going to be 6-4 now. UMass still on top. Still waiting on Solo to pop off. The Eagles have been doing a really good job so far uh, keeping this one close. Despite Solo only getting three frags so far. But uh, look for him yes. to start popping off shortly. That goes there. As Meech setting up on uh, A site now, so interestingly here. enough. Switching things up a little bit. Way. Showstopper popped. Oh, no, excuse me. That was Knives. Bivil's waiting in the wings. No idea how close this player is. 
Oh, he's gonna he's gonna peek him. <laughs> that was good timing there from Vivils. And Solo on the flank now. He may catch them rotating around. This team has done this multiple times now. They might finally get punished for it. Mojo with another. This is going to make it quite difficult for UMass. Oops. Good frag there from Solo. Bevil's pushing up. One more for the Flawless. And there it is. Solo picks up the last one. And that's going to be a clean round from Post. As uh, one more will make it a even 6-6 six, six on the half. Eagle's going to try to make that the case. Each TV, once again, going to get a lot of vision. Oh, he dodges it. <laughs> Does take a lot of damage from it, though. Mm. Good take here so far from UMass. Solo does grab one, though. Crucial kill. Johnny with another. Blocking site. Blocking site. I'm just going to try to push up and buy time. Oh, no, the diffuser got killed. And a great round there from UMass. They will maintain the lead heading into map two, or uh, second half, rather. Switching sides. I like that thought process there. Get in there, cause some chaos. Drop some smokes and just try to buy time for the diffuser to stick it. But uh, UMass sniffed it out. And uh, economy is reset now. Back to a pistol round. Seven ghosts through both teams. Eagle's going to be on offense now with control of the spike. Two rounds down. If they win the pistol round here, we'll be likely looking at a 7-7 game. So this is a crucial round right now for post. Bear with a little knife peek there around the corner. Kills traded back. Sala with another one. Smojo getting the plant down now. Sala in a good position. Does fall to Psycho, though. Oh, and Jules with a nice shot on Meech is very low, though. Bivils will finish him off. And a 2v1 now. Both players very low, though. Great shots by Bivils. In the 1v1, just has to play for time here. He just got to play smart. Oh, what a clutch from Bivils. He's phenomenal tonight. A 3k for the fade. And that's going to be good enough to be a uh, top frag for the Eagles right now. Over 13 rounds. Bills has been practicing and it's showing. What a phenomenal 2v1 clutch there at the end with a Sheriff, no less. And that was a massive round for the Eagles. They're going to have a huge gun advantage heading into this round. And... Uh, Pending a fantastic throw, we are going to be most likely looking at 7-all uh, here. Big push on the B site. Solo, very confident. He knows he has gun advantage. Good job maintaining distance from Bear, not allowing that shorty to get any value. Jeez. 
Run with another though, and it's a two v two now. One enemy remaining. Is this has suddenly gotten messy. Solo does find one though. Two v one, and the Eagles will close it out. Solo with three on the round. And we are, in fact, 7-all. This is honestly scary, because usually at this point in the map, Solo will have uh, about 20 kills. So, the fact that this map is tied right now, and Solo is, only has 10, is got to be extremely worrying for UMass. But, uh... Bivols has been doing phenomenal. Mojo has been doing phenomenal. Everyone really equally pulling their weight. So far. Oh, he looks away too fast, but Bivols will trade him back. 4v4 now. Mojo getting the plant down. Oh, he will get it down. Gets very low. Each on the flank. Good shots from both teams. Just Jules finds another. Oh, Johnny in a bad spot. Meech does get all three left, though. Incredible play from Meech. He finds the three more. The last three members of UMass and Post will take the lead for the first time tonight. Eight to seven. Undefeated so far on offense. Let's see if they can keep up this momentum. Oh, this is a nice spot. Playing slow here. Solo pushing onto site though. We'll find one. Does get taken down by Jules. Jules now in a 1v3 and Meech takes him down. Eagles, good job. Holding serve there on their buy round. And, uh,. Two round lead now for the Eagles. Solo's got knives ready to go. Meech has got his ultimate as well. Now, the key thing for this round is going to be, can Meech get an early kill and get a high value ultimate? That's going to be what I'm watching for this time. On the lurk. Solo once again pushing in aggressively. Dashing through. Meech still on the flank here. There's a lot of noise, and Jules does not hear him. He finds one. Could pop the ultimate, but is, interestingly enough, deciding not to. Spike is down, and a lot of utility being thrown at the backside, and Meech gets two more. He didn't need the ult. And uh, Post is just... Whatever they, they did at the half, it seemed to work because that's all five rounds of the second half now going to the Eagles by way of frags. And it's 10-7 now post closing in on a map one victory, which would put them in prime position to take this match and lock in the second NECC playoff spot for the post-university Eagles this season. First one, of course, already locked in by... Rocket League Orange team, who is still undefeated in the Emergence Northeast Division. But Bivils pushing down towards B site. Meech once again on the flank. He wants to use the ultimate here. Does find one. Still not deciding to use the ultimate. 
Oh, almost finds Jules as well. Psycho picks one, another one up on the back end. Salo sees the gun, gets taken down by Sirius George, though. Jules with 10 HP left. Sirius George, full HP. Oh, Bivils in a 1v1. Uh, can I get another Bivils clutch? Playing ring around the rosy. Finds him with the grenade out and another clutch for Bivils. 3k on the round. And it's now 11-7 equals one round away from match point. And still with three ultimates to work with. Honestly, fantastic job all around from post this map. This has got to be, assuming they can close it out here, this has got to be really good news for Michi. It's exactly what he wants to see. Almost equal contribution from every member of the team. A lot of maps have been carried by himself and by Solo in the past this season, but it's just really great to see everyone on the team pulling their weight. Solo gets blinded up here. An early pick as well as taken down Meech this round. And Eagle's now working in a 5v4. Bivils finds Jules. 4v4 now. Bivils does not like that angle. Solo with another one. This time onto Psycho. Mojo. On the flank. Ooh, Gurren finds Bivils. These kills have been uh, very separated. OJ just has a spike. He's going to try to get the plant down. Johnny and Solo with two more, and that's going to do it. Johnny with the last one. Match point. And it's 12-7. Post still holding on to those ultimates. And uh, desperation time for UMass Boston. They have to... They're kind of on a save round here, but they, they have to win this round or they'll lose the map. So they have to spend what they have and just hope that they can overpower post. Get out of my way. Get Knives being popped here. Solo gets one with the knives. Looking for a second. I know exactly. Oh, finds it four health left. Cypher ult getting popped as well. Going to reveal him. He gets another. He can't dash away, but it doesn't matter. It's a 1v5. Gurn gets two, though. Bill sneaking up and will get the final kill. And post will take it 13 to 7. GG. Honestly, love to see that. Only nine frags separating the top and bottom fragger. That is beautiful. Really good stuff from everyone. Double digit kills for everyone on the map. Shout out to Johnny with 13 assists. Really making it work with the KO and Solo. And Meech, the MVPs, with 19 and 18 frags apiece. Psycho, the MVP for the Beacons, with 17 frags on the Cypher. So you uh, post up one map to zero in this best of three. And uh, we'll be right back with map two in just a moment.
Choose your agent. All right, we're back with map two. Eagles up one to zero after taking Pearl 13-7. Next up is Haven. We have the team compositions locked in as well. Uh, we also have a substitution uh, for both teams, actually. Uh, Kenway going to be subbing in for UMass Boston. And Lifted Kino going to be subbing in for the post-university Eagles. Taking over the spot of Bivils. Uh, I'm not sure who Kenway is subbing in for on UMass, but it is going to be Psycho, Sirius, George, Jules, Gurn, Pui Mui, and Kenway for UMass Boston. Meanwhile, for the Eagles, it's going to be Lifted Kino on Cypher, Meech on Jet, Mojo on Omen, Johnny Fuego on Sova, and Solo God on the brand new agent, Gecko. Now, I'd love to see new agents utilized as soon as they're uh, made available for play. Um, both teams actually picking up the Gecko for this map. He has a, an excellent kit with flashes that you can pick up and reuse as a big mid push here for UMass. Meech finds, or excuse me, for her post, Meech finds the kill onto Jules to start things off. Psycho gets one back. Meech gets one, has to reload. Solo versus two. Solo and Keynote. And the chamber pick as well. That's interesting. Don't normally see that. Solo does find one though. And the defuse was already half and Solo not fast enough. Very close pistol round, but UMass takes it in the end. Have not seen the chamber in a hot minute. He was nerfed a couple patches ago into obscurity. So interested to see how Psycho does on the French gunmen. As a post will be on a save round here. Meech does buy the Spectre for himself, though. So that indicates that uh, Eagles are not uh, completely relinquishing this round. Meech does find one. Oh, wow. One health left. Somehow gets out. Gonna get up to heaven. I love this movement from Meech. Let's see if he can do any damage with this one health point left. Johnny just trying to do what he can. Mojo finds one. Mojo finds two. Make it three. Mojo incredible on the round. Gets two with the classic. Grabs a Spectre and finds the third. Amazing job from our Omen main. And uh, post turn round two on its head and pick it up. And we're tied up at one now. Meech jumping up on top of the boxes. Does not see Gurren, though. And he will pick up an early kill. Johnny does trade one back as Solo gets the plant down. It's going to be a fat blind. Oh, no. Mojo has to reload. And now Solo in a 1v2. 
Nice one. And finds two. Great clutch there from Solo. <laughs> and the Eagles take the lead. Interested to see if Solo utilizes um, Lil Bro here to uh, plant and or defuse this spike. Gecko, the first Valorant agent ever who does not have to plant or defuse the spike himself can use one of his buddies. Oh, it looks like Buddy is going to be going to plant the spike here as Meech finds one. Ultimate goes out as well. And does get the uh, the stun, and Mish gonna find the knife kill as third as well on the back end of that play, and two more, and that's gonna be a flawless Eagles firing on all cylinders now. Took a little bit to get warmed up, but uh, things are looking very good right now. This is really interesting buys right now coming out of um, UMass. Psycho immediately bought an op. Okay, he has now sold it and uh, went back to the judge. Those things are adorable. Wingman going in. Gonna get the plant down again. Solo finds that first kill, crucially, on the Reyna. Two more. Can I get another Flawless? A uh, two in a row. Wow. That is going to make almost a uh, insurmountable... Economy lead there for the Eagles. Two straight flawlesses. They are swimming in cash. UMS has to win this round here, or they're going to be looking at another save, and the post is just going to continue to have everything that they want. The B site pushes with uh, Wingman planting the spike are so strong. Interested to see if they continue doing that. Solo, quick peek. Each finds one. Well, bro is going to get that plant down. Solo finds another one. Oh, and Solo just showing the versatility of this agent's kit. Eagle's getting blinded. Come pushing up through here. But Mojo with the last kill. And Post just playing so confident now. Pushing up aggressively, playing together as a team, and Solo's got his ultimate again. This Gecko ultimate's so incredibly strong. It's like a Sky ultimate, except when you find an opponent, they get, uh, they get completely stunned, cannot shoot, cannot use any abilities, can only move very slowly, just like they stay too long in a Killjoy ultimate. And uh, it is extremely difficult to get away from. See if it's going to be another seaside push. Another uh, Jiggle Peak. And here comes the ult. Did he catch someone? Oh, he didn't, actually. Mojo with two and that massive fight in Garage, though. Oh, I think... <laughs> Solo still thought he had the spike there. And there you see Gecko's blind. But at the end of the day, it's a 2v3. Ooh, Mojo sees him. Oh, and Solo takes him down. But Solo now in a 2v1. And that's going to do it. UMass will finally pick up another round. As Jewel's going to be able to get the defuse here. The last player left. After that very chaotic round. And then Psycho now rocking that up. So we'll see if Post reacts appropriately to that.
take flight. You know, pushing up. Those win that gunfight versus Jules, and this is going to be a good Cypher ult. Nice ultimates there by Johnny. Finds one. Mojo finds another. As Meech gets splatted. Ooh, Mojo gets some more damage down. Doesn't quite find the kill. Meanwhile, Johnny just peppering up there with shock darts. Finds another kill. And Sala with the last one. It's going to be 6-2 Eagles. Looking to make this an emphatic half. And... Uh, Really kill the mental of UMass. That's kind of the point here. Trying to go ahead so much in uh, the first half that if you're UMass, it just seems insurmountable. See you on the other side. Shout out to Liftakino, who's only died three times so far for eight rounds. But Meech pushing up mid here. He goes playing a little bit spread out this time, a little bit different. Giving Emas a different look. Hmm, going over to C site now. Ooh, Johnny's about to find Psycho. Not find a kill there, and Johnny takes him down. But two more traded back. Ooh, make it three. Johnny gets another. Oh, caught with the utility out. And Solo gets another. <sighs> Can't find it, and it's a 1v1. Oh, and Gurn finds it. 4k on the round for them. And they will be able to get the defuse. A huge clutch there from Gurn and UMass Boston. Keeping their hopes alive. Ooh, Psycho with that chamber ult. Finds one, Meech trades one back. There's the ultimate from Gecko. Does get taken down, and Meech got good positioning here on the box. Let's take down Jules. And gonna come right up to heaven here. Ooh, Psycho with the uh, no scope there on Meech. But the spike is down. And here comes the Killjoy ult. Mojo forced to walk up, and uh, this is looking good here. Ooh, can he get up there in time? Not going to do it. Psycho with the third, and a good comeback brewing here for UMass, as they've now won three of the last four rounds. This time it's Post that wants to avoid a 6 6 half. Ooh, Psycho with another pick off the rip here. v4 now as Meech finds one. Mojo gets the plant down. 
Each with good positioning here. Oh, get shot through the boxes, though. They find Mojo as well. Oh, with his last one left. Can we try to stick it? And we'll do so. Johnny does find a kill. But it's going to be 6-5. UMass not going down without a fight here. Popping the knives, jumping up on the boxes, is going to get caught by a bunch of stuff. Spike is down. No kills yet, but a lot of damage thrown down. Kenway does find one. Mojo disabled by the ultimate the gecko. Skurin finally takes him down. Each trades one back. But it's a 1v3 and Psycho with the last kill, and it's going to be an even 6 6 half. A really close one here tonight. As uh, UMass trying desperately to find their first win of the NECC season. And the Eagles trying to lock in that playoff spot. But here we go an even 6 6 half. Gurn and Salo and Meech, so far the frag leaders. 14 kills apiece. Post going to be on defense now. Oh no, he can't dash away in time. Psycho finds one. Solo on the flank. Does get spotted out by that turret though. Get him, wingman. Spike planted. I'm out. Up and away. Oh no, Johnny can't escape. <laughs> you know, it finds Last one, but Mojo escape. blinded up. And that's going to do it. Well played there from UMass Boston. A lot of members tagged. But only one ends up falling. Back. Yes. Seven to six now as UMass, after falling behind six one, this goes here. Oh, this is nice has now brought it all the way back and taken the lead seven six. And now we're now pushing up C long. Sala with a nice kill onto Psycho to start things off though. That's actually really big. I believe he was their op. Kenway does find the return kill, though. Oh, no. Mojo oh, barely missing that shot. Tragic. And now Johnny going to hear footsteps from multiple angles. He's trying to make some magic happen with this marshal. Oh, this is going to be a tough one. Last player 
standing. Ooh, good shot. Still has three more to go, though. And Mish, no way to push in there to get the defuse with three members still alive. And UMass Boston holds serve. Killed by Solo to start things off here. Psycho spent way too long in window. Oh, you know, finds the kill on Sirius George as well. Good start for the Eagles. The plane drone. Mojo does find another kill, crucially on Gurn. Top fragger for uh, UMass. One enemy remaining. Solo with another one. And now Meech about to run into Kenway. The 1v4. A couple members tagged, though. Kenway will find one. 30 seconds left. Needs to find somewhere to plant. Is looking for B site, it looks like. And not going to be able to get the plant down. Sala with the last kill of the round in the th third of the round. And the Eagles will take that one. And cut the lead in half. Let's fly. Spike planted. remaining. And I don't know what happened there, but uh, we won the round. <laughs> so we're all tied up at eight now. Eagles looking to take the lead. As Solo has come online Here. for post. Here. Dropping 20 so far through 16. Comes the ult. Does get taken down. Go with one. <laughs> A lot of gunfire going down, but just the one kill. Kino 
know, gonna have a good, good view of them coming in here. Now hit the shots. Ooh, solo season though. Oh yeah, monster on the loose. Kenway, but Johnny finds two. He's going up top, finds one and one v one now. Well, excuse me, one v two. And Johnny clutch it out. Gonna try to get it half. Oh, I can't do so in Kenway. A great round, his 3k. Things looking good for post here. Up five to two. One enemy remaining. Solid with one more. And there's Johnny with the last kill, and it's a flawless for the Eagles. And we're tied up at nine. This one could be coming down to the wire. These next few rounds are going to be crucial. Just trying to close it out right here. Ahead. Kills traded Spike back down. already. Try Psycho and Solo. Oh, nice job with the utility there from Solo. Oh, he gets another. Oh, no, he has to reload. Knights of fourth. One more left for the ace. Kenway is still alive. And Johnny finds him, and the Eagles take the lead. That was a such an important round. Ten to nine now. Eagles three rounds away from locking in that playoff spot for the NECC. Let's see if they can do it. Each rocking the op for himself this round. Ooh, nice shot by Meech. Takes off the head of Psycho. Solo does not want to check that butch, or check that area. Meech finds a kill on Jules. Make it a third. Meech, is Meech's turn to pop off here. Popping the knives. 
Oh, cannot find the last two for the East, but Mojo's got him. And it's 11-9 Eagles. Well played by Mojo and Meech there. And uh, just like I said on map one, if uh, Solo is popping off, it is very difficult for the Eagles to lose. And that's exactly what's happening here. 25 for the uh, Resident Gecko player. They found my wire. Hmm. Interesting. Looks like it's going to be a B push this time. For you masses are switching things up a little bit. Jolting on to the point. Ooh, Kenway finds one. Oh, great spray control there by Kino. Johnny gets another, and now the last two enemies revealed for the Eagles. They're on the hunt they want. This round, they want to go on match point. Blocking sight. But it looks like Solo is going to find them next. You should run. Thirty seconds. Killjoy ult coming down. Solo gets one. Down and Solo's just going to jump right down into it and try to get the last kill, and he does. <laughs> that takes out the lockdown with his sword. Love that. No fear, just jumping right down into the Killjoy ult. Match point now for the Eagles. Map and match point. As they're up 1-0 in the series after taking Pearl. 13 to 7. It's already been a closer round so far here on Haven. Leave them no escape. Revealing area. Saw you, little homie. Here comes Thrash. Solo will find one, and he gets. Oh, but Mish gets hit as well. <laughs> oh my god, he somehow lives. Incredible. What a weird situation. And so many targets there. Things not looking good right now. Four post, but Johnny. Not if Johnny has anything to say about it. Finds two Kino with another. It's suddenly a 2v2. Oh, great flick by Johnny. Gurn, now the last players standing, trying to keep UMass's hopes alive for this fight. Johnny just going to pop Hunter's Fury. Oh, cannot get it out soon enough. Enlisted Kino now. What did he find him? And that's going to do it. 13-9, GG, and the Eagles will lock in that playoff spot for the NECC. Congratulations to them. They'll face Rutgers next week for a chance at a better seed. But uh, Eagles do take care of business tonight against UMass Solo, the MVP, with 27 kills for the Eagles. Psycho, the MVP for UMass, with 19 on the chamber. And uh, that's going to do it for the stream tonight, everyone. Thanks for tuning in and supporting the team. Uh, we have some more matches for you this week. As uh, it's going to be uh, Smash Purple versus New Jersey City University tomorrow at 7 p.m. That's going to be right here on the main channel. Casted by myself and Frisco. And then on Wednesday, it's going to be League of Legends versus SUNY Potsdam again at 7 p.m. And then Friday, it's going to be Rocket League Orange versus Johnson & Wales at also at 7 p.m. So easy schedule this week, all 7 p.m., all post-U esports. Uh, tune in on Friday to support the Rocket League Orange team, see if they can keep their undefeated season alive. But until then, thanks for watching, everyone. Hope you have a great night.